What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar, and we are talking about Compound today. Somebody requested it uh, on the Discord last night. What is it? Let's see. Pika, you requested it, so shout out to Pika. Um, I did want to talk about it just because I do think that it's important to talk about right now, right? This is one of my biggest bags. It might be my second biggest, if not my third biggest position out of my whole portfolio, just for transparency's sake. Um, the daily RSI is looking productive in my opinion. It looks like you've broken out of this kind of like downtrend that you've had, right? You're breaking it. It looks really nice. Um, it can look nicer. That'd be nice. It really could look nicer, but time, time will provide that hopefully. For looking at the price itself, I don't believe we're going lower than this low. We could go lower from here first and then go higher, right? Um, however, however low we go remains to be seen, but I doubt we would get below $51. I would even doubt below uh, $53. So we could go somewhere in that range though, about like $55 to $53. We could go somewhere around there um, from here, but inevitably I think we will work our way higher. and. This is going to start to sound a lot like my videos did back here. We have an area that we're looking for whenever we break out, and that's right around like 63 to 66 dollars, right there. 62, 82, 63 dollars is the zone that we want to break above to start celebrating. Right? Had our false attempt here. We had another hard-fought false attempt there. Getting above the slime would be crucial. And then now I would say because we've had this extra phase up here, I would even say that this area is crucial as well. And maybe more relatively speaking, this area. So 60, $63 is the first kind of wall to, to get over. 77 to $79, that range is also going to be a wall in itself. And once we get over that, I really do believe it's on for this thing to move up to about 230 to to 300 or higher. We take the relative high to low here. You've got uh, 1272 at 131, 1618 at 177, and then the 1886 and 2272 deep extensions at 223 to 313. If we take the relative retracement of the all time high to all time low, I guess cycle low, maybe not, maybe not that low. The 618 to 69, the golden ratio area literally goes right between the 1886 and the two and the 2272, between 223 to $313. So I really think that's the area of interest whenever we do inevitably get going. Who knows how long it's going to take? Um, it might be some time, but I would think that by the end of this year, compound will be worth multiple hundreds of dollars. Uh, potentially greater than what I'm giving it credit for, but I would think that we see it in this range by the end of this year. However, by the end of this month, by the end of next month, I'm not so certain, right? Compound likes to be boring. Um, the idea behind Compound itself is boring. It's all money, it's all finance, and that might be exciting to some people, but man, if you read into it, it's like, it's pretty boring. You gotta, I mean, at least for me, I gotta stay focused when, I, when I'm reading the white paper, whenever I'm going over things that involve compound. Uh, it's, it's pretty boring stuff. So as it is a boring kind of idea, probably for most people, so is the boring price action gonna be boring for most people. But I do think right now we are working our way up. Just because we're working our way up does not mean we're going to see fireworks to the upside, but I do think we're working our way up. The next targets to look for are between, I'd say, 63 bucks and 70, let's, let's call it 80 bucks, 63 to 80 bucks with a, he, with a heavy emphasis around $70, I think. 75 to, to 80, actually, yeah. That's your golden ratio zone, so. That's really all I have to say. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.